Dollywood is one of my favorite parks in the world. It's home to 10 incredible coasters and it has an amazing atmosphere, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of just ranking the roller coasters on their full experience like I normally do, I decided to rank them by their first drop. The first drop on this coaster was the most intense thing I have ever experienced. It gave me a headache and scarred me for life, so I'm placing it last. As much as I love this ride, it doesn't really have a first drop, so I can't place it much higher than number 9. Like Big Bear Mountain, this ride doesn't really have a first drop. Uh, but it definitely has some larger drops in all than Big Bear Mountain, so I have to place it here. Okay, this is where we start to get to the real drops. Although this ride definitely surprised me with its intensity, the drop didn't really contribute to that. It's fun, I guess, but it's really short. Also, because it's an inverted coaster, you don't get much airtime. But it's definitely solid for a family ride. Blazing Fury is a very odd dark ride for most of its layout, but then out of nowhere, about three-fourths through the ride, you get this insane RMC level ejector airtime. I know I sound crazy, but hear me out. Because it's in the dark and you have a buzz bar, this drop flings you out of your seat. I don't know who profiled this ride, but they must have been insane, because a dark ride drop should not be that crazy. This drop may look amazing, but I have two words for you. Best restraints. Because I'm a pretty small person, I've always thought, oh, I can't get stapled. Wrong! I don't know how B&M designed these restraints, but they clearly didn't want anyone to get airtime. But I can't place the drop too low, because you get to a pretty solid speed, and the drop is really big. Okay, I know I said we were ranking first drops, but Mystery Mind's big drop is actually the second to last element. Don't ask me how, this ride is weird. But I'm going to take the second drop as its main drop. It's really solid, and it's crazy steep. But like Wild Eagle, the restraint ruins it for me. Not because you get stapled, but because this restraint has zero padding, and this ride is insanely rattly. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I love this coaster, and the drop is a big reason why. Although it's not my favorite drop in the park, the way it curves makes it much forcefuller. Forceful, forceful, I don't know, but it's really intense. And the fact that you only have a lap bar makes it 10 times better. Oh, I should have said it's more forceful. Alan Shoki equals good drop. That's all I need to say. This drop was profiled to perfection. And the way that it dives into the earth makes it super cool. Also, I think every ride should have a pre-drop like this one. It makes the main drop a lot better. Guys, it's an RMC drop that comes right after a launch. What did you expect? 